Hello, welcome to Magical Maiden's DIY Crafts. I'm Magical Maiden, and today the craft I have for you is a wall hanging, a crescent moon wall hanging. Okay, so for today I'm going to show you something. I made that moon and stars wall hanging decoration. I didn't show you exactly how I cut the crescent. Okay, so this is something you're going to want to do. Now you can do this many ways if you're good at freehand drawing and cutting things out then that's good. Or you can print out a template of a crescent moon for whatever size. Mine was nine inches and then you can go ahead and do that. Or what you can do is I got some cardstock. It's glitter cardstock. I got this at Hobby Lobby and what I did was I got, I have this round wood that I made my uh, pendulum board out of. They give you three to a package. So this would give me the length I want. That's how big I want. And you would get like a pen or marker or pencil. And then from a little over the center, just trace your crescent. Now it's a crescent, so you're not going to go all the way around. Then for the opening, you just move this and then do it again halfway, kind of matching the other end. And then you'll finish it off with a point freehand. And then you're going to cut it off on the trace, and what you're going to get is that. See? There it is. And then you can, once you trim it, make sure that it's okay. You may have some pieces that might not be perfect that you have to when you cut it kind of had like a bump or something try to do the best you can and then you'll have a crescent like this so i went ahead and started some of it already so once you've cut out your cardboard your moon like i said it's relatively easy to get a perfect crescent um, if it's not exactly the way you like it when you cut it, you can mess with it. Okay, and I have the one on the wall that I already did, but this one's going to be a little different. So I have to glue this to the cardboard, okay? Now, you can do one of two things. You can cut out another piece of glitter cardstock or vinyl glitter and glue the back and the front, and you can hang it. And when you hang it, you can't hang it here. You'd have to hang it here because of the weight of what we're going to hang here will bring it on a tilt, and you don't want that. Now, if you're not going to do the back, you can do what I did on the first one. You can get a piece of wire long enough and make a loop and twist and leave the part that you twisted and get a nice piece of duct tape, strong tape, duct tape, packaging tape, something really strong and put it exactly where you're going to want it. Okay. Once you have that, then you can hang it. All right. But if you're going to do the other side, you really can't do that because you'll mess up the glitter, whether it's glitter cardstock or glitter vinyl. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some E6000 glue. It's clear. It dries clear. And all right. And here we go. I'm going to just put a little bit on it. Because you're going to want to get the edges and the tip. Not so much. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place this on here and then we're going to move it around so that's why i don't use a glue gun because with the glue gun you can't move it around and if you got a little excess wipe it you know okay when i made sure that the cardboard isn't showing in the front at all you might have to trim a piece of the cardboard Okay. And now we push. So when this is all dry, 
you're going to look at it and if something's showing of the cardboard which it is here take a scissor but be very careful you don't want to cut your crescent moon and have to do this all over again once this is dry and you're sure that no cardboard is showing so i've got a little piece of cardboard showing I want this dry as much as possible because I don't want it to shift off its cardboard. But for time's sake for this video. Now if you hear a leaf blower in the back, sorry about that. We're going to get a ring and we're going to put this on. So it's going to be done a lot differently than my other hanging crescent moon. Now you can make the moon so it covers the bar. You can make the crescent moon any way you want. So this was $1.49. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's called the Steel Ring. And it's 8 inches. That's 20.32 centimeters. And it's 4 millimeters thick. Okay? That's right mm -hmm. here. Now I did buy this quite a while ago when I was going to do another craft. And it came with a set of medium and small. So... I could make it a smaller one, a medium one, okay? Because I was going to do something different at the time, but I didn't do it. So now the price might be more, but you can find it in Hobby Lobby. They have all these rings. You can find these rings anywhere, okay? And if you need to know the sizes again, just rewind, you know, just go back a little where I told you the sizes, okay? So what I'm going to do, now you can use a glue gun for this part, but I prefer to use some E6000 glue. And again, you can do the back of this as well if you're going to hang it to turn around. I'm going to just have it flat against the wall. Then we're going to attach things that hang. So we're not going to glue the entire crescent moon. We're only going to glue right about here. Okay? Okay? And you want to make sure that the top and the bottom are even, okay? You're gonna want some paper towels, this can get messy, is I'm taking my glue gun, and I'm just gonna go over it. Now, you, like I said, you can cover the back then. You can go over all of this if you want it to hang and make it look prettier. But I'm just gonna have this against the wall. But you would take another piece, okay, and put it on top of this, which I can change my mind and do later if I want. Now, because this glue is extremely hot and I wanna push down, I'm gonna use a stir stick could use whatever you want. I just happen to have these from when I was doing resin. This kind of holds it in place. So you're going to use the E6000 glue, wait for it to get tacky, and then once you have everything where it is, after the E6000 glue sat for about five or six to eight minutes to get tacky, put some hot glue gum, but have a higher heat one, okay? And if you got a nice thick piece of cardboard, it shouldn't, if you have a nice piece of cardboard, it should not eat through. And then you can easily, you can place another piece of cardboard with cardstock on it and go over this way. That's up to you or just cardstock. Okay, I just want to reiterate, it doesn't look pretty in the back. <laughs> so if you're going to make them to give as gifts and sell, that's what you want to do. Yeah. I have three. I'm going to wait to pick the glue off. Do I want to add one more? I don't know right now. I think I'm going to leave it at three. I mean, four might be good, but then it looks kind of uneven like up here. And then I can add another one down here. But again, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. And just add a little more glue, not too much. Remember, pick the webs off later once it's dry. This is a high glue gun, a high heat glue gun. So, all right. 
And there it is. If you get a little too much glue on your star, just go like this. But it's okay. If it gets ruined, you can glue another star. Because those stars come in a package and you get them at Hobby Lobby. I'm letting all this dry and cool off. But this is what the stars look like. They come in a package. They're stickers. So you would peel off the sticker cover and then they have that sticker. And that's why they're, you'll find them in the sticker aisle. Right now they have it at a, in a center area. Now look, see this one comes with a scratch. If you want to cover any scratches or marks, because why waste them, right? You want to add a little more glitter, just get some silver glitter and nail polish, some cheap silver glitter, or you can get some Maj Paj, put it over there and pour some silver glitter on it. This is from Sinful Colors. I use these a lot when I do my glass cabochons and do anything else. I always use this, so I keep these on hand. I also use it on my nails from time to time. It all feels very dry, or dry enough for me to continue. And I'm picking off the webs because now it's dry enough, okay? And I'll mess with that more later. So what you should have is something that looks like this. Now this is fine, and I didn't do much down here because I'm going to hang some things off of here, okay? So, you don't have to make holes in the moon like I did on my last moon hanging. But you do want to have something over here on the top part to hang. So it'll go up here. You could hang a chain or you could tie something like a ribbon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make stuff to hang for this. Okay. Now on my other moon, as you can see, I did long, medium, shorter, and really short on an angle over here. Now you can still do that and tie it up. That's why I didn't glue under here. Um, but I might just do long. Now you can mix beads, like clear beads or silver stars and just tons of other things, which I'm going to get to because I do have a big shot Sizzix machine. It's a die cutting machine and you cut out die cuts and I do have some star die cuts and crescent moons which I'm going to add to this and you can just add a bunch of stuff and of course my favorite thing to use which is sequences. So now that this is dry what I want to do is I want to get this out of the way and put it somewhere safe. Okay? And I do still have to pick a lot of webs off of this. So if you do the back then you can let this dry. If not, once you cleaned it up after it's dried, we're going to put it aside. Now you can very well leave it like this if you love it. But you know me, I'm a little extra. I need to add a little extra. <laughs> you could also get some clear, and I'm going to show you. These clear little acrylic gemstones and glue it to the center of each star which I might do. Okay, now here, and they came with this little baby star too. These are the die cuts that I got for the star. So I'm going to use some silver glitter cardstock, and I'm going to, and I got a few more in here, but the stars are a little smaller. They came with the whole kit, see? That didn't come out. <laughs> These are the stars in the crescent moon. They're a little smaller, but I don't want to waste my time with smaller ones, even though I don't mind them. They're kind of cute. These will have little holes, so I don't know that I'm going to use this one. I might actually use this one. This is too tiny to mess with right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. If you And I'm not going to do it on this video. So if you want to see how I use it, look at the earrings I made, the moon and star crescent earrings using a die cut, okay, on my jewelry tutorial playlist, and you will see how I use it, okay? But you'll see what I'm using here, but I'm not going to explain everything that comes with it on this video for time. Okay, so I cut out a few. I didn't cut out a ton, 
I'm just going to use a few in there just for a little look. So now I've got to glue the two sides together. Now these stars are a little wonky. They weren't even stars. They had like a, a long part of the arm. So you've got to make sure that you're gluing that together. If you get these die cuts. I'm going to put the link for these die cuts below. I got them on Amazon. They were like four and change, four dollars and change. Very cheap. All right. So I think I'm going to use not my new thing, but my older E6000 glue. Just use a little and kind of spread it. You want to do the ends. Okay. And then Get the other side. And then make sure that it's even and you're not seeing any of the white of the under part of the cardstock. And then it matches up evenly and nicely with the other side. Make sure your hands don't have any glue on it. Going to one of the many final parts of this. It's making the hanging part. And again, you can use anything you want for this mixture of things, beads, ribbons, what have you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin using my split rings. So I'm making one, attaching my split ring, getting my tack, and I've shown this many times. The, the only comes with one hole, so you're going to go not to the edge, but follow that line of where the top hole is. And don't go too close to the edge, because what happens is then it rips. And you're going to want to go in the front, pull it out, go in the back, pull it out. And then to round it off, you could either use a toothpick, or if you find it easier, you can use your round nose plier tip just the tip and go like this and that makes a clean hole that your jump rings or split rings won't get hang hung up on okay so now you should have had all these glued together if you were going to use the Sizzix big shot machine uh, die cutting that i mentioned and i've glued all these this is the only one that's mm. wet and i've let them dry so the next step once I'm ready to attach them is to use this push pin to make holes on top and the bottom never going too close to the edge or the sides because it can rip. The smaller you have to be more careful with because they do rip. It is cardstock. But if you use the bina glitter, it's a little thicker, but that still does rip. So always don't go too close to the end or the edges. Okay. So now I've made this and now I want to make some hanging things. Okay, so I want to hang stuff. Now there's two ways you can hang things. So if you're going to, like I said, you could do a backing. I'm not going to go through all that. I said it in the beginning. You could always rewind. If you're going to hang it where it's going to rotate or if you're going to give it as a gift or to sell, you definitely want to make sure the backs are covered but this is for myself and it's going to go on the wall and if you're making it for yourself and it's going to go on the wall then you don't have to worry about that so what i'm going to do now you can do one of two things you can get chain and jump rings and then put wire or just have wire or you can get one of your if you're going to use ribbons or beads you can tie it with ribbon and then attach chain to that or however you want to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to not only use these I'm going to mix it in in some of the stars but I'm going to use a mixture of the small ones and the large ones and what I'm going to do with this is I want to have some things hanging so I could use some wire so it doesn't budge or I just use a glue gun to the back and then it stays there. 
but I'm not going to do that till it's all done. It's going to have some weight, so I don't know that gluing them is wise. I think possibly attaching it with some wire. Okay, so if you're going to start to punch holes, now I've already started this and it's mix and match, and you can do it any way you want, like I said before, with anything, different sizes. So I'm going to take a crescent moon. They've already been glued. And what you want to do is push, see the push pin? It's not exactly to the end, and it's in the center, not too close to the edge. So see, it's coming through the other side, and you want to gently kind of poke your tack through it, and then gently do it from the other side, and then you want to do it to the bottom part as well not too close to the edge not close to the end either and then very gently handle these don't be in such a rush this this uh, particular craft does take a lot of patience because you're gluing things using your glue gun and e6000 glue and you're using the die cut machine if you use a die cut machine okay so i'm going to finish punching holes through my moons and my stars and then I'm going to attach them on through these. I might even just attach it over here just to change it up a bit. And I'm going to show you the first strand when it's done. And then I'm going to make the other strands off camera. And then when I attach them, I'll show you how I'm going to attach them. Now I will say I'm attaching some of these already. So you, just so you can see it. And I got one of my moons and a star and I'm some of the large 40 millimeters and the iridescent small and mediums. It's a lot easier to attach these with thin split rings. See how thin these are? Now these are thicker split rings and they're just a little bit smaller, but the thinner to fit through the holes without having to make them too wide will go better. And it's better than using regular jump rings because then you don't have to get your tools out and constantly close each one. It'll go faster if you could just go like that. Especially if you didn't close each one properly. It's very easy to do with jump rings because these are so thin that even the slightest opening that you wouldn't think if there was some movement, if you were hanging this by a window or anywhere, or a fan or a breeze or just movement, it could fall apart with jump rings. So just remember, it's best to use split rings. And I like the thinner ones. It's your preference. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm showing you that I took some soft silver wire. It's soft because it's very flexible. I cut a piece about three, three and a half inches. And then I took one end and the other and I kind of twisted it and then wrapped it. This is to prevent it from sliding all over. You can't just put a jump ring without something on either side from it to prevent it from moving. So I'm going to neaten this up a little. I'm going to push down those pieces and I'm going to push this together first and then I'm going to flatten it okay so I'm making the second one so what I did was I took a piece and it's about three and a half it's about three and a half inches long you could always trim it if it's too long when you get it then what you want to do is you want to stick it on the top piece. Okay. And then now this might move around a bit, but what you can do is take a toothpick with some E6000 glue, slide it over it, and it'll hold it still and just clean up the E6000 glue with some like rubbing alcohol once that dries it should come off so you're going to want to space these now this is a little shorter and then one on the bottom I'm going to hang some crystals so see what I'm doing I don't know if you can see I'm 
taking one end on this side and the other on the other, like a U. And then I'm going to go like that. All right. And then one side, you're going to go under and over and start wrapping it on this. And this side, you're going to go under and over and start wrapping it like so I attached a jump ring right back here with a chain with a split ring to hang it. And I added some E6000 glue and then some high heat glue gun. Now again, you don't have to do that. You can just do the jump ring with the chain and that. And But this was to prevent it from moving. And again, if you're gonna do a backing, wait till everything's glued and everything's finished and you can cover the back and then put the other stars on. So when it turns around, it looks nice. Or if you're making it for someone else, it'll look nice. But again, if you're making it for yourself and it's not going to hang, it's just going to hang on the wall with the back facing, then this is fine. It may look messy and unattractive, but it still will work. So I'm waiting for this, which is hard. And I put a little bit of E6000 glue in the bottom and this on the top. It makes it stick faster. And now what I'm going to do is I already made my three chains. Later I might add a couple of more of these hanging things and I made a ribbon and beads in between that and these plastic crystals they look like glass they are they come in a package like this there's big ones as you can see and then there's smaller ones I'm going to use the smaller ones see the bigger ones and the smaller ones and it's from bead design this was $11.99 when I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. And these are the same plastic crystals that I hung on my DIY craft that I did for the inside with the large 40 millimeter sequences, as well as the ones from the outside. And these still look good. You, you know, they might get dusty from being outside. You just get a soft, wet cloth and that's it. And they shimmer and shine just like glass. You wouldn't know that they're not glass. It's finished. Here it is. I'm trying to get the light on it. And now you can add something in the center hanging down like a little glass star or anything you want. You could put a cat sitting on the moon in the center. But I thought and I know these look gold, but they're silver. And I only hung three strands. So I'm trying to get it so you can see the moons and the stars that I made with the die cuts. But you can find those at Hobby Lobby as well, or you can trace and cut them. And I used the big 40 millimeter sequence and different sized ones and shaped and iridescent sequences. And then I put the crystals on the bottom. So this is what it looks like with just this lighting. And now I have some ring lighting on. It's hard to move the ring lighting, but there it is. And you can actually use gold stars. These aren't gold, but somehow with the lighting, it's making it look gold. They're the silver ones. It's just the reflection on them. And I hung that up. See where the chain is? I hung the chain behind it and glued it. And again, you don't have to do that. I just didn't want to see the back of it. And you should do it a little off to the side like that because when it's right there, the balance of all this will make it not sit properly. And I space these out. And you can add a little glue on that. I'm going to zoom in to where the. I'm going to zoom in to where I put that. So you could put glue to keep them from moving like I showed you. And they're di different lengths. I might add more. I might add some ribbon 
in between you could add a little purple i use those iridescent ones that look kind of purple but they're ir they're clear iridescent so i might add another strand to the right over here but for now i think i'm happy with it sometimes just a little bit looks better than overdoing it and i might hang something in the center towards the middle right there like a little star and right now it's good because all the holiday stuff is out so you could find like stars glass stars that were ornaments but that's it so that's all you need so remember to subscribe like and share and remember to click that notification bell so you're notified when i upload my newest content so thanks for watching and I'm going to post a few pictures so you can see it better, and I'll see you in my videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.